Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I am rubbing my hands together. Oh, I am uh, gnashing at the teeth, chomping at the bit, ready to teach the Word of God tonight because the God of the Bible, my friends, is speaking, and he's speaking loud and clear. Let me tell you, God is good and worthy to be praised. I pray that you're doing well. Here I am with my little weekly invite to you. Uh, I was going to say to join me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, but you can't join me here in, in, in person, but you can join me online. And listen, God has given me a word. I want to speak to you tonight, my friends, because listen, I see what's going on, and the God of the Bible uh, is speaking. And he's addressing uh, the mind that the believer must have in order to get through these times. These are unprecedented times indeed, but they're unprecedented for more reasons than one. And I'll tell you, the leading reason is not. COVID-19, it is not the coronavirus, but it is, it is the things that are being said to you and said to me, the suggestions, the outright uh, 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 orders, the out, outrageous, outlandish things that are being said to us, and these things are designed to change your mind and to throw you off course, to throw you in disarray, to put you in uh, a state of dismay. But my friends, let me tell you something. God is good. You know, they talk about the death count and the number of people who have died from the virus. You know, have you ever considered, have you ever just considered that the spread of this virus may be much, many, many times greater than what we are aware, aware of? It could be that the virus has been here much longer than we even knew that it was here. It could be that we may have been exposed to it, that I guess the testings and things will, will reveal a lot of this, even when we didn't even know. And yet God, God allowed the overwhelming majority of people who have come in contact with this virus to live and not die. And our heart goes out to those who have lost loved ones, those who have died. Oh my, uh, the families of those who uh, succumb to this wicked, dreaded uh, virus. But let me tell you something, God is merciful and the Lord is good. And my friends, the God has watched over us and is watching over us. And there is a word from the Lord tonight for you that God has given me. So join me, join me, join me, join me. Uh, we'll, we'll start at uh, a 7.30 shop. We'll have prayer. We'll have a little praise and worship. We'll read a few, we'll read the, 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 the scriptures and we're going to deliver the word of the Lord to you. So I'll see you tonight. Make God's, uh, may God's choice blessings be yours. And we're going to gather Online, we're going to gather, we're going to gather for Bible study. Yeah, all of this, all of this excitement, all of this uh, 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 noise I'm making, all of this uh, display, this brouhaha is all over. It's all about studying the Bible. For my friends, the Bible is right. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.